I believe you have a topical form of glutathione. So could you talk about how that works? And um... Yes. <laughs> so this technology was developed back in 07. And when I first got the technology uh, done correctly, it was stable in a room temperature. And we found out later on that uh, uh, this, this molecule, uh, the way we work the technology, it, it can get through your skin into your body. Uh, what we found out was uh, nobody knew how to use it. I did, I did not know how to use it. Uh, and so it took me about 12 years of research to figure out what I was, what I had uh, before I launched a product to the open public yet. So let me, I'll tell you the story about that one. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's two things. One is that uh, this particular molecule has uh, five patents right now. Six of them just got registered last week. It's not published yet because they're waiting for 30 days so for somebody to come back and say, hey, this is my patent. But otherwise, we'll have six patents by end of this month. Uh, we patent in China, in the United States, in Japan, Mexico, Canada, uh, and waiting for the rest of the patents right now. And the patents is for two patents. One is for composition and how we create the molecule. And the second part is delivering glutathione completely intact through your skin into your body, into your blood mm -hmm. cells. And so that's the patent that we have. And again, it's 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 only been out in the market for about two, three years right now. Uh, and it took me about 12 years of research because first thing I wanted to know was, is it actually getting into your bloodstream and how fast, how much dose do I give you to get to the levels I'm looking for? And as, as we all know, if this is a, it's a redox medication, a redox product, so you cannot give too much glutathione, otherwise you become, your body becomes reductive instead of oxidative. And the reductive state is not fun, uh, rather than being oxidative stress, because oxidative stress makes your body more resilient. Reductive stress makes your body more lazy. So it's not a good good place to be in the first place. So I had to figure out what dose to give to make sure that I always stay on this side of the uh, of the curve and be in oxidative stress, but get you the levels high enough for your body can absorb and see the results you're looking for. So <clears throat> long story short, we were working with physicians all over the United States and we figured out a few doses that, that were effective. Uh, and so we we finally, after all the research was done, I wrote the book, The Growth of Revolution, mm -hmm. that got published and, and, and got uh, available. Uh, and now we have the product ready to be delivered. And the difference between this and any of the form of glutathione is that you can actually measure the glutathione levels in your blood within an hour. And it is, it's, it, it's improving the blood levels within, within hours. Um, you're, you're able to uh, uh, see the MDA levels, the oxygen, oxygen stress marker reduced within, within the first four to four to six hours. Uh, because of the reduction of the uh, MDA levels and improvements of the levels in your PBMC blood, uh, we saw uh, an a increase in all your immune markers, the IL-12s, IL-2s, TNF-alpha, interferon gamma, and that will actually improve macrophages uh, activity. They were able to reduce the load for mycobacterium in vitro. Uh, of course, this was done in vitro studies, not, 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 not in humans. The product was used on humans, the blood was drawn, and the blood was infected with mycobacterium, and they saw the reduction of mycobacterium within four hours. So what we, has, what we have noticed for the very first time is that anything that you take, your body has to process it, and then the results, uh, the increase of the glutathione levels is happening uh, days later versus the product that we have, you're seeing the levels of glutathione improve within hours. And so with that improvement, is it necessary? I, I Again, I'm biased. I, I say <laughs> yes. Uh, but most people say, well, if I get results in two days versus two hours, I'm okay with waiting for two days, right? In most cases, you've been you've been suffering with some with some issues for for years. Waiting two extra days is not going to hurt you. Uh, if the cost justifies you to use my product, then fine. Okay, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll use it if if that if if it's if it's any much more better than that. But in reality, is that. Uh, we live in a very fast-paced environment, and we want the results now and today. Uh, I don't want to wait for two more days. And so 
I guess I'm in business because of that at this point. But uh, uh, overall, the data that we we have is is actually published in the Journal of Antioxidants just recently on July 2nd about the clinical trial that we just did. Do, do, do you know what the dosing regimen would be for, for, for your serum? Uh, okay, so that's a great question about the dosing regimens because um, dosing is, um, is, is, is something that uh, we had to figure out because if you look at the literature, the literature talks about uh, anywhere from 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams once a day, twice a day, three times a day capsules. If you're doing intravenous form of uh, glutathione, people are using anyway from uh, uh, from 600 milligrams to up to three to four grams of IV push of glutathione in some of the disease patients as well. And so when I was doing my research with uh, a topical form of glutathione, uh, we found out that uh, uh, I cannot use 500 milligrams of glutathione. When I first used that much glutathione, I had patients started complaining about Herxheimer reactions, having rashes and itching all over the body. So that was not a fun, fun experience. Uh, mm. Thank God they worked with physicians. Actually, the patient was a physician himself. And so then we quickly realized that this was too strong, too much. Uh, and so he actually uh, took it upon himself uh, and and so the few patients that were using his product, he tried to figure out what dose was actually ideal for his patients. And we found out that between 100 to 150, 175 milligrams uh, at a time, maybe twice a day, was more than sufficient to raise your glutathione levels to uh, to a high normal range. So 100 milligrams is all you need. All the clinical trials that have been done on healthy subject, of course, uh, has been done on uh, uh, with 100 milligrams uh, dose twice a day. Do we know how long the level stays high? I mean, I, you, yes. you said that uh, glutathione is cleared quite quickly. Yeah, how long does it stay high? So the, the all the studies I've done is a very short study, like a three-day study, two-day studies, things like that, uh, or, or single-dose studies. Everything that we measure the area under the curve is, is to how long does it go from, from zero to peak to back to zero. It's between four to six hours is what we see that. <coughs> uh, that, that that's the area of the curve that, uh, that we see. Now, what we do know is that as the time goes by, part of the glutathione is going get, to get recycled. So as the time goes by, we're going to start seeing this as going from four to six hours to up to 12 hours. And that may happen, I don't know, uh, three months, six months down the road, depends on what your needs are, right? If somebody has major needs, it may, they may not get steady state for about a year, right? Whereas an otherwise healthy individual, they may get steady state in three months, four months. That means uh, a dose in the morning, a dose in the evening will get you 24-hour coverage. Uh, and those patients can eventually, in fact, go towards one a day dosing only. And they may take, again, we haven't done the studies yet too, so we, we cannot predict what the, what, what the level is going to be like. But a mathematical model, a model will tell us that it may take us about a year to two years to reach that state where just one set of dosing may give you 24-hour coverage. And I, I think that would be fantastic if, if we can achieve that. Right. Because when you start, you may have like an yeah. oxidative stress overhang or a detox overhang. And so the glutathione all gets used up, clearing out that. And then after a while, you get to this steady state. Kind of that's right yeah okay yeah no that would make sense okay is there anything that i haven't asked you that i should have asked you do you think <clears throat> side effects Please? hey side effects ah yeah side effects ah, so ah. well the, actually you did discuss a little bit about side effects but yeah so what are the side effects of i guess too much glutathione so so glutathione has a grass status by fda if you consume mm -hmm. orally uh, mm -hmm. But the thing is, when, when we have given glutathione, uh, because I used to produce intravenous form of glutathione uh, uh, for, uh, at the pharmacy, and then now we produce a topic of glutathione uh, uh, now at oral wellness. Uh, what we did notice that when people had too much of glutathione, they had uh, a rash being developed. Now, 
uh, it's not an allergic rash because as of right now, in my 14 years of career, I have never seen a single person being allergic to glutathione, not even one. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but we do see rashes and uh, all the doctors that we work with, they see the rash and usually the rash will subside when the glutathione levels goes back to uh, normal and the, it will subside. We are, we are thinking that it's it's basically detoxifying your, or cleansing your body too fast and the body is not able to keep up with the cleansing process. And so it's giving the rash out. Uh, so if you just slow it down a little bit and just slowly ramp it up, uh, if we can do that part, then you don't develop the rash. Other than the rash, we have not, oh, and, and, and of course an itch by the application side. Other than that, we have not seen a single uh, adverse reaction or or side effects from this uh, product at all. Excellent. Uh, yeah, it sounds wonderful. I, I was just thinking, so if you're losing weight, right, you store a lot of toxins in your fat. So as you lose weight, you would be releasing more toxins. And so that would be a good opportunity. That would be a good time when you would actually need extra glutathione, I guess. Oh, absolutely. Especially if, if you're in a weight loss program or any diet program where you're trying to lose fat, uh, the fat holds on to a lot of uh, organic phosphates and organic chemicals, water, fat soluble chemicals uh, that have been, that get released into your bloodstream. Uh, you need glutathione to, to cleanse and detoxify. And when that happens, the first thing I do have patients that have called me and told me that, hey, when they first started using this product, uh, they have, they have heard, they have they have seen the the feces uh, has a foul odor to it. And it's, it's been there for about three to four days, up to seven days sometimes, and then it goes back to normal. What they're attributing that to is that, hey, they were they were on some sort of weight loss program from the physicians, and then they, they also added the glutathione to the, uh, to the same regimen. And because of that, they were able to detoxify or cleanse a lot of those organic phosphates or, or organic chemicals in, uh, in the fat cells. Interesting. Okay, yeah. on, on, the, on that note, um, so thank you so much, uh, Dr. Patel, for joining us this afternoon, and uh, great talking to you. Uh, where can people get more information about yourself, and where can they get the book? Absolutely. So if they can get, uh, they, they should sign up on my blog. Uh, it's, it's at orowellness.com. It's A-U-R-O wellness.com. Uh, sign up for the newsletter, uh, I try to publish one one article once a week. Sometimes I get lazy and I do about two or three times a month. But uh, my goal is to do one a week, and hopefully, I can uh, I can keep on producing more of those articles to just bring more research and more information out to people. Uh, if they need any more information, they can they can contact me through the website at info at oralwellness dot com, uh, and uh, my staff will forward that email out to me. Okay, excellent, thank you. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.